can't believe I'm gonna buy this. This is like my first. Bonk. Do you have a battery? Hmm? Do you have a battery? No. Mommy! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Hey, we don't need any screaming this morning. Or any morning, really. Or day or night. Guacamole, shot of turmeric juice. That's breakfast for me. Ohio goes <clears throat> I'm a little sick. I think I mentioned that, but I'm trying to like really hold it in. I'm gonna get on the treadmill again. It feels great because I haven't worked out in a while. I was very grateful for the break, but now it's time to start the hustle. morning planning for Juliana's birthday party. We like going to places where they kind of do the entertainment for you. Even though it costs a little more, I feel like it actually saves a lot of time and money because to me, time is money. <laughs> this time around, I'm doing a lot of online shopping for the decorations, for ooh, even the party favors. Let me show you some of the stuff. I had to hide it under my makeup PR so the kids don't rummage through it. But the kids love this. They get these every time we fly Alaska Airlines. My cousin suggested to put little Play-Doh things in the goodie bags. And I think I ordered an, oh yeah, where is that stuff? Emoji balls with the tongues that you could stretch out. I thought that would be fun and different. And then these are light-up rings. Wasn't even that expensive. If you were to buy this at a store, it would have been at least double the price. So I just got off of Amazon and I just ordered the unicorn plates and I ordered her cake today. It's just so crazy how different party planning is today than how it would have been like 10 years ago. Thanks to Amazon, they make it so easy. And no, I'm not sponsored by Amazon at all, but it's kind of life-changing. I don't know, kind of in a scary way because more of a reason for me to just Stay home. When we are done going to school, we gonna um we are gonna go back out. We'll probably um, go visit Mama uh, and Papa. Then our uh, this we gonna come at our house. Mm -hmm. It's nice and peaceful in the house. I figure, why not light some incense? I think our oil diffuser is broken. <laughs> oh wait! Oh! Oh my gosh! Thank you. I've been trying to turn this on for the last 20 minutes. Oh, I just put eucalyptus oil. It smells like a spa. So forget, you know what? Would that be too crazy if I light the incense too? It would be overbearing. Okay, forget it. We're gonna do the incense another day. I'm so glad that's working. I'm trying to find my most comfortable spot because <laughs> sometimes I'm sitting for straight hour editing and whenever I sit normal with my legs just down, if my back starts to ache, when I'm looking down, it hurts my neck. So I have a pillow behind me and I have to raise up my knees so that my computer is almost at eye level. I've been contemplating getting that treadmill, tread, treadmill that has a standing desk so you can work while you're walking. Like I saw it at the Google offices 
And that looks really cool. I should just get one. And where would I put it? Time to edit. This is a picture of my wife and I when we got married. Um, my wife is a Filipina, and if you know anything about Filipinos, they got big weddings. <laughs> so I had about 50 people on my invite list. She had 300. <laughs> uh, at the time, my real estate business was struggling. I wasn't doing very well, and you know, to pay for this wedding um, was something that I had to figure out how to do. So I thought, you know what? Let's create content around Judy's experience. She had already been doing YouTube. In fact, uh, Sean over there, the co-founder of Video Influencers, helped me put together this wedding series. And basically it's a 10 episode series around Judy's journey to getting married. And that was really early. Again, the way I got those deals was Sean created a PDF, like a media kit, which by the way, how many of us have a media kit? I would suggest everybody do a little bit of research, find a template. If you guys are serious about pitching your channel or being professional with brands to get those opportunities, have a media kit that shares your numbers, easy, easily clickable to like social media platforms, and kind of gives a little overview of what you're all about. The Nordic Trek has one. Let's see the ratings. This model is sturdy and provides a very large workspace. They have one that's a workout bike. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Two people could work out. Whoa, holy cow. This one is almost 5,000, but that's like a legit desk. But it's fairly light. So this attractive, unique piece. I can't believe I'm going to buy this. This is like my first treadmill and it's going to be a walking desk treadmill. It's just such a good investment because a pretty large chunk of my day is still editing. So I'm literally sitting on my bum. So I added in the three year maintenance service plan, also the three year warranty and assembly because I don't trust any, but if I'm gonna be on this a lot, I wanna make sure that it's assembled professionally. With that added up and sales tax, it went up to about 1500 and I think that's how much the treadmill cost originally a couple years ago. I'm sure Benji won't mind too because um, a couple months ago we were talking about it and he was like, yeah, we should get one, but it didn't go anywhere. So I'm sure he's totally down. Ordered. Now, I can't wait. Just got done speaking. Lila's kind of like my speaking critic. What's up, guys? What'd you think, Lila? Lila is a stand up comedian, so she said I need to add more jokes. A little comedy yeah. never hurts. Yeah, never hurts. Anyways, honey, I miss you. I'll be home tomorrow, okay? How was school? I'm nice at school. Really? What's something nice that you did? Um, I. Um, uh, um, I was letting somebody play with me. I, I, I would try to play some blue. For somebody, mommy and I mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mommy. <laughs> okay, good job, guys. What in the world is a seagull doing here? It is a bird that stays near the water. Time for my salad in a cup. I've been forcing myself to drink at least one full glass of green juice because this is my salad. I don't I don't like eating salads. I used to just bear with it, but ever since green juice became a thing, I'm like forget actual salads. Unless it's a good one. Like at Nordstrom's they have the um the basil shrimp salad. Oh, that's bomb. I would eat that every day. So today's the girls Friday cuz they don't have school tomorrow. I thought it'd be fun to go to the mall. They have the American Girl doll store there. They have just a bunch of activities for American kids. Girl. Oh, I want the one that Julie's wearing right now. Well, what outfit is she wearing, JB? The flower one. Oh yeah, the flower one. It's the jacket, so but I don't need the jacket. Oh, well, you defo will need the jacket because it's going to get cold here. This dress fits her perfect now. When you first got this, it was way too big for you. Mommy! Let's see. It's okay. It does. I'm wearing my heat gloves. Well, you found that! Go put it in our other foot. Mommy! Are these shoes the right way? <laughs> we just got here to the mall. There was like a huge detour because there's like construction all over and I swear the detour took me like a mile and a half away. We're here! 
Wake up. Hey, uh. oh. We're just going window shopping today. What's cool about the stores, they let all the kids play with all the accessories and everything there. Um, and then right next door, there's just like a play area. You said we just can't go to Wendy. Yeah, the restaurant's not open. They got the rid cafe. of the cafe. The cafe. It's kind of sad. Our girls' yeah. night continues with a sleepover. Are you having fun so far? All right, <laughs> I have an early start of the day because bringing Mama to the airport. She's going on a vacay with her BFF. That'll be fun for her girls' trip. <laughs> Good call it a night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, night.